Hello, good afternoon. So I've just had a coughing fit. <coughs> um, well, this is to start with a thank you to Cohen and Grim Jim, Mark O'Neill, Chris and Alex, Russ, um, Hardy Hood Run. There's loads of you to thank on um, my compressor problems. And I was actually getting concerned that. Um, should I use it? But it turns out it's not got a tank or anything that stores air in it, it's just constant. So, but I should keep an eye on it, um, make sure it's not getting too hot. And I'm going to get a adapter so I can put the regulator straight to the compressor. Um, so, thank you all for that, it was brilliant. And there's a couple of you, Cohen and Grim taking the time to make videos so um, that's really good and I'm just about in a moment well, after I've done this um, while this is uploading I'm going to watch Grim Jim's video um, so it's not important it's my name you'll say James Deval now all the doctors say Deval um, go to hospital they pronounce you Devel. It's actually pronounced Dival as in diving, dive and all. Dival, odd name, but um, that's the correct pronunciation. Um, but Devel is fine, I like it, it sounds a bit posh. Um, but anyway, this is my review on the Walker Bulldog. So I was going to do it the other day but I got involved in other things. So here goes. This is what I got the other day when I um, got my tools and bits and bobs. Which the only bit I didn't like about it was it was just this that come and everything was inside it. Which I didn't think was too good because it rattles around inside. But um, we just take the lid off, put that there. Right, the instructions, I was going to jot down notes because it's got quite a bit of information here. I was going to jot them down and have a little notes and tell you a bit about the tank but I thought I don't need anything about tanks that made me sound like I know what I'm doing, which I don't. But um, I think it's uh, 1956 it come in somewhere, I'm trying to see it. 51, what is this, it's a 41, 1951, so, because I see it, I thought it was second world war tank, but it's not, um, but you've got, that's not right, okay, you've got these paint call outs, now I'm thinking, after painting the other day, I do like my enamels, but I'm thinking about looking at the uh, Flaho acrylics. And uh, put a little shelf up there somewhere and just have a, a few rows of paints. It'll make it all look good. But um, it's all clear and understandable. And lots of little fiddly bits, which is good because I've got my tweezers, so it puts them into use, as Groom Jim says. Um, and yeah, so I shall be looking forward to doing this one. I won't start it because um, I won't start it yet because I've got the M113 to do, um, and then I might start on the Apache but um, all the instructions on this are nice straightforward looking which is what I like I've never had an AFV now I was corrected on AFV because I read that as ARV but it's AFV um, so yeah got all these lots of little fiddly bits which I like. So I suppose the majority of the work in a tank 
this is what I like, it just tells you the colour, bright blue, bright blue, bright, what's bright blue? Oh, optics, windows, right, okay. Um, yeah, and it's all good. I do like the um, instructions on this, so I'll be looking forward to doing this one. And there's your virtual completed model. That looks like Cohen's idea there, the turret just sits in the hole, which is good because in the um, Tamiya one, you've got to line it up and twist it on. But you've got one, two, three, four, five, six finishes, I think, looking at that. Yeah, six different finishes. A spray map on the rear. So uh, that's that. This come with it as well. This is the colour system, I suppose. I'm not sure. Yeah, but anyway, to the model. We, what I've noticed is the detail on this. You've got all your weld lines, you've got all these little, whatever these are there, you've got your escape hatch, and I noticed on the inside, the escape hatch is detailed on the inside as well. So, um, the detailing is good, really good. Um, Focusing through, it's trying to pick up the background, isn't it? So it's got a lot of good detail. And that's the top hole, hole, which is all full of detail and lots and lots of little bits. This is the bit I like, so I've heard about them, but I've not yet had one. I've actually got a metal barrel. So that'd be interesting, stick in that. Will it stick to plastic? I do not know. All the tools and whatnot, toolbox, towing eyes or something. Lights, Let the detail on it is I think really, really good. And in comparison to the uh, Challenger, it's actually quite a small tank. But um, it's a 135th scale, and this bag, you've got poly caps and wheels, there's three sprues, you've got a doubled up sprue, and that smaller one there with your weapons by the looks of it. Lots of lovely weapons, but the detail of it looks absolutely fantastic. Can't, I haven't taken these out of the bag yet so you can't really see what the markings are. But in the back you've got a bit of string. I was imagining that's for the tow rope. Um, and you can't really see through that. So I don't know what those markings are. It's almost like there's nothing there. Hang on a moment. So there we have the transfers, which will just not focus. I do not know why. But, um, you can barely see them. You can barely see anything the way that's focusing at the moment. But, uh, yeah, they're there. The only thing is that bit of paper is stuck on there. I don't know if it's supposed to be stuck on there. Um, and then you've got the tracks, which I'll put up against a bit of plane, so it's focusing on the wall. That's because it's um, half past three and we've got about an hour's worth of daylight left, so heading into twilight. But the tracks look good and they're flimsy, I just hope they fit well. 
Um, so yeah, that was my half-assed attempt at a review on the M41 A3 Bulldog or Walker Bulldog with all its sprues. It's um I do look the size difference. But then this is this one is the same size almost as the um M113. So there you go, I shall look forward to doing that, but obviously at the end of the month. What are we at? Fifteen days time or something, fourteen days. Um I'll be starting the uh group build. Jim and Marks. So that's all good stuff. So I've got plenty to keep you busy. Um I'm going to Carry on doing the undercarriage flaps. I'll start, I've started fitting them in there. It's actually quite good because the hull of the tank has made a nice stand for that at the moment. But um, I'm going to paint the undercarriage bays, put the other two flaps on because I can't put too much on until I've stuck the undercarriage in. Um, bit more paint on that and then I might be doing a live build if it doesn't bore you all to bits and the Challenger so I'm going to watch this video because it's one I haven't watched yet and um, I'll see you again on my next update or upload and uh, thanks again to everybody so um, I'll see you later. Okay. Ta-ra.